what's good world it's your boy rider gun guy and i am back uh yeah i'm back off vacation <laughs> i'm back with another video uh, first and foremost man i gotta say thank you to all 1000 subscribers that i have reached um yeah that's crazy to me uh, that never was even a milestone never even thought in my head um of actually reaching that of actually wanting to reach that of that even being attainable honestly i usually kind of have larger than life uh, thoughts, you know, <laughs> when it comes to certain things in life. And I mean, I never even thought that. So again, I greatly appreciate all my subscribers, uh, all my viewers, uh, everybody who has commented, man, everybody who, um, who has engaged. I got people emailing me, shout out my guy, Rusty. Um, I'm gonna get that mag release out to you soon. Uh, he's constantly sending me emails with ideas, real cool dude, I'm connecting with people. And it's, it's really exciting for me. Yeah, man, this has become, uh, you know, something that I just wanted to do for fun. Now it's kind of become <laughs> something I got to take serious and uh, which I, I, I was going to take it serious regardless, you know, bringing the same quality, trying to make the same connections. But now it, you know, just, you know, goes to another level at this point. You know, I know I got real people watching. I know that, you know, this thing is, is taking off. My uncle's video is almost at like 97,000 views. That's that's crazy to me. Never did I think any, if you added all my videos up, that I think I would hit that many views. So let alone one of my videos. Um, and that's only been up for three weeks now. Yeah, for me, for little, yeah, that's crazy to me. A thousand subscribers, a hundred thousand views on the video. Uh, like 1,800 likes on the video, uh, almost 400 comments. That's, thank y'all, man. And real quick, I wanna do a giveaway. Gonna be kind of elementary, but I hit 1,000 subscribers, so we're gonna do one to 1,000, man. Pick your favorite number. Um, all you gotta do is put it in the comments. Um, I'm gonna try to do somebody that's a subscriber, but honestly, I don't know who it is and who's not. Um, it only sends me notifications for certain people that, you know, I got a new subscriber and or who it actually is. It only sends me notifications for certain people. On a piece of paper, uh, probably on a sticky note, number, name, and um, you know, just throw it in the hat. I'm gonna pick three names. I wanna send you a hundred rounds of training ammo. It's not much, but uh, you know, for little old me, I'm trying to return the favor. We're trying to return the love um, in the support and you know, just, just where this is taking me, man. This is this is awesome <laughs> this is awesome for me to hit a thousand subscribers so and i thank y'all i'm gonna put the, you know just the little directions to the giveaway uh in the description um of this video so now into the actual video this video um is going to be on how to travel with your firearm um like i told you on my last video i went on vacation uh went to new orleans i can tell y'all that now uh, there's some crazy people out there, so you can't be telling where you're going, giving out too much information, none of that stuff like that. But yeah, I went to New Orleans, had an awesome time, had some really good food, um, walked about 10 miles, because that's all you do down there. But definitely brought my firearm. They have the same laws that we have as far as um, recognizing my concealed carry permit from North Carolina and Louisiana. Uh, they have open carry, and I think um, they recently it was June that um, I think they were trying to move to constitutional carry, um, which is, you know, starting to become a big thing right now uh, that they're trying to push. So this is everything I took with me. Um, I'm gonna tell you, and I do not take this much stuff with you. <laughs> um, I brought two guns, four mags, 50 rounds of ammo, um, a pocket knife, uh, holster for this gun, holster for this gun. This is a mag carrier holster. Um, yeah, that holster that holster, mag carrier, mag loader. Um, and these are just the two things that uh, that they put on the bag or whatever. But yeah, I'm gonna get to that in a second. But yeah, do not take all this stuff, man. This is an extra $100 charge. Not to fly with this, but because my bag was so heavy, um, you get to check a 50 pound bag for $30. Uh, when well, my bag weighs 60 pounds. <laughs> I overpack and I over prepare for um, a lot of stuff when it comes to traveling, uh, going out, whatever it is, I, I over prepared. I hate flying. It gives me anxiety. Um, I still can't hear out of my ear because uh, my ears pop. Yeah, all that crazy stuff, man. So <laughs> this definitely contributed to it, but I could have, uh, you know, compensated for, you know, this and traveling a little bit like it was 48 pounds on the way back. So I was able to finagle some stuff and get it right. So I did not have to fork over that $100 again to send my bags back. 
this. You cannot electronically check in um, your baggage if you have a firearm um, in your check baggage, which is the only way that you can take a firearm with you is in your check baggage. I'm gonna get into this in a second, but it has to be in your check baggage. It cannot be in your carry-on. Um, I Googled and did a lot of research um, on, you know, how to do this. <laughs> and I read, you know, on TSA, on articles and everything, the number of uh, firearms that get carried on or try to get carried on to um, planes is ridiculous. Simply because you can't go to the TSA website and do a little reading and go to YouTube and watch a couple of videos. So I'm going to give you all that information right now. You have to check in at the desk with someone with the actual uh, attendant at the desk. Just walk up, tell them, you know, I need to check in my luggage and I have a firearm that I need to check in. On the way to New Orleans, um, no issue. The lady, I guess she had done it before. Um, so she knew exactly what to do. She asked me, is it packed in a hard uh, side of case? I said, yes. Is it secured? I said, yes. She said, do you have ammo? I said, yes. She said, is it packaged correctly, separate from your mags and in a container? I said, yes. I didn't even have to open my bag going there. She just um, asked me those questions. Um, and then she handed me this. She said, are all your firearms unloaded? I said, yes, ma'am. So she hands me this. All this says, and it's blacked out because my signature and information was on there. But all this says is that I understand that the federal law, uh, basically carrying a loaded firearm, the federal law prohibits that. Sign off on this, you're letting them know that you understand that you cannot carry a loaded firearm um, through the airport, into the airport. You, know, you cannot you know, ship it in your luggage, all of that good stuff. So they give you this, you sign off on it, and all you do is stick this in your bag. So if they have any questions, uh, if you get stopped, if you know it gets to a checkpoint and they need to you know, make sure that it's secured because somebody didn't do their job, then yeah, they, you have this right here. Right here is the uh, return to BSO. This is, I think, baggage uh, service office or something like that. But basically they put this on there. Um, I'm guessing because it had a firearm in it, um, I'm guessing if you claim like, you know, high, I value luggage or something like that. I don't really don't know. It might be strictly for a firearm. I, I saw a video and it said, don't let them put, uh, you know, any uh, markings or indicators on your luggage that you're carrying a firearm, which this is not what this is. But I guess if you work, you know, in TSA, you, you know, probably automatically may know what this means or whatever like that. So it's like, yo, when I got to New Orleans, where's my bag? Well, I had to go to the office. My wife was like, well, let's go over here to the office. And it was over there. So, so um, yeah, those are just the only two pieces of documentation that I had. Yeah. On the way back, um, I was dealing with someone new. So when we got to the check-in counter, uh, she had to go get someone. So I had to open my luggage up uh, to show her how this was packaged and everything. But I did not have to open this. Um, I saw in Black Rambo's video, which I watched his when I was in the airport, once I actually got through, just to kind of see who else may have posted something in their experience. Um, I watched his and he had to open his. He carried his in a, like a small vault tape. So his was a little bit different, but all I had to do was just open my luggage. The lady pulled it out. She looked, she showed her, you know, it's got locks on each side. So, you know, it's good to go. It's not, it's not supposed to be accessible to me at any point in time or anybody. Uh, for that matter. So this is a Pelican Volt uh, case. Um, it worked really well. Um, is it airtight? I don't know, I wanna think so. Um, it's got like foam surround on the inside of this. So I, I wanna say it maybe it can get airtight, uh, maybe waterproof, I don't know. Probably never gonna try to see if it's waterproof. Maybe I will, I don't know, we might do that. <laughs> this is what I traveled with it in. Um, like I said, I have not opened it up, so I'm going to change the angle for y'all so y'all can see everything that's going on. So yeah, this was my traveling kit. Go back and tell y'all again, this cannot go in carry-on luggage. Um, this cannot go anywhere except your check baggage. Um, and that is at the check-in counter. That is not on your, through the app. That is not at the automated desk. You have to go to a person and actually check your firearm in. Um, we're gonna start with the locks. These are basic. Um, these were off of Amazon. I wanna say they're like 22 bucks, I think. I think that's what they cost, I don't know. But um, Snap Safe, they did the job. But yeah, I wouldn't bet my life on these locks, but they did their job uh, for this situation. Um, but yeah, man, I went with combination locks because I did want to lose a key while <laughs> on vacation. So that's why I went with that. Um, these are TSA approved locks. Um, and what I learned is TSA approved locks all come with 
TSA master keys so they can go through your stuff. Anybody can go through your stuff that works at TSA that may have a master key. Um, it may be managers that has a master key. It may be anybody who works for TSA that has a master key that may need to search your stuff. I don't know, but I read that you do not have to use um, TSA approved locks. It just, you know, the political way, but you do not have to use TSA approved locks. Um, so those, that's where the master key goes. So what I did, yeah, I filled that with Gorilla Glue. Both of those keyholes with Gorilla Glue. You're gonna stay out of my shit. Um, that right there, no, that's not a serial number. That is just what um, it tells TSA what master key opens this lock. So I scratched that out, filled that with Gorilla Glue. Um, yeah, my stuff did not get bothered. Um, again, this is not illegal. Everything I did was perfectly fine. Uh, honestly, when I, again, I told y'all when I went to New Orleans, uh, on the way there, they did not check any of this stuff. On the way back, the lady looked at a, the hard case. She said, you have a hard case, which is what it must travel in. A hard-sided case, four sides, has to be able to be latched and has to be able to be secured in some type of way. She saw both locks on there. She said, your case is good to go. I said, you don't need me to open it. She said, nope, you're good to go. So that was that. So yeah, just basic locks, man. You can go with anything that fits in your holes. <laughs> So yeah, we're gonna sit those over there. Um, again, Pelican vault case. Uh, this was like 50 bucks, 55 bucks on uh, on Amazon. Uh, again, it did the job. It's got two little buttons right there so that you have to push those to pull the latch. And boom, I have not opened this since we got here. So that is what it looks like inside. Um, yeah, that's what I travel with. Uh, that's the 19X mag. That's the mag for the shadow systems. Um, Ever again, nothing, no ammo in any mags, anything like that. Um, I took my Hellcat with me. I told you I probably would take that. It was my first time traveling um, with a firearm, my first time kind of being, um, you know, more alert and, you know, being kind of focused on my environment, you know, to a point where, you know, I'm, I'm somewhere I may need to defend myself. New Orleans is on first 48 all the time. So, <laughs> with that being said, defend yourself at all costs. Um, boom, and we took the shadow system. So you have the safety, the, uh, you know, your little barrel taggers or whatever you want to call them. Did put those in just for, uh, you know, again, added safety measure, and a visual inspection that the gun is unloaded and that they're, um, you know, safe and good to go and travel with. So yeah, underneath that, and I'm gonna let y'all know, <laughs> I tried to do a cutout. Yeah, that shit did not work. Um, I see guys, some guys do really good jobs of it. Um, yeah, I sucked at this. So all I did was stuck it right back inside and put it on the bottom situation. But here we have my ammo that I traveled with. Um, I took 49 rounds. Uh, that's 19 for the 19X mag. Uh, that's 15 for the Magpul 15 round mag and the 15 round Hellcat mag that I took. And this is 13, no, this is 14 rounds, 13 plus one for the Hellcat, which is what I carry in it. Um, but yeah, that's what I took. Yeah, that's some good stuff right there. Critical Duty, um, Extreme Defender plus P's. And these are, uh, I wanna say Federal HSTs. Yes, Federal plus P HSTs, probably like 124 green, something like that. But yeah, I took 49 bullets with me. And that's that. That's how they travel. Simple case off of Amazon, your MTM. This is what I store all my defensive ammo in. Um, I probably have about 12 of these. Um, 10 of them are full, so I'm right at 1,000 rounds of defensive ammo. But yeah, this is what I keep my ammos in, except uh, they're the 100 round cases. But yeah, that's what that traveled in. And all I did was made a little cutout for that so it wouldn't stick out too much. And yeah, that's that. Mags. Again, took 15 round of Hellcat mag. That's the carry mag for that. Um, cut little slots in them. Those slots are not perfect by any means. Again, I'm OCD, so once I started cutting and saw kind of how fragile it was and how easy it is to mess up, I was just like, yo, let me cut it so that it fits, and that's that. Um, took my pocket knife with me, Kershaw. Uh, yeah, that's all you really need as far as that. Kept that on me at all times. Um, I carried 90% of the time. Um, only time I didn't carry is maybe when I knew we were going out to drink. I'm not a drinker, so I might've had three drinks on a four day trip. So 
yeah, that's that. But yeah, man, um, that's how this stuff got carried, man. That's how I traveled with it. Um, I hope I covered everything. Uh, my holsters and uh, mag loader, um, all of that stuff was just thrown in my carry-on bag. Uh, so none of that stuff had to get checked. That's just, you know, I guess it doesn't get flagged. It doesn't raise any <laughs> any alarms when it comes to that. Uh, don't make sure nothing is moving inside of it. Um, if you can do the cutouts for your weapon, hey, more power to you, man. I salute you for <laughs> being able to uh, pull that off. But yeah, man, that's all this really was. Instead, just travel with that stuff. Next time, definitely will not be traveling with two weapons. Um, I really, really should have brought the SIG365. And what I'm going to do is get a smaller case now. Um, because, you know, I know what this one is capable of. I want to get a smaller one simply for um, a Hellcat R365 and, you know, be able to slide the mags in, which you can do that with this right here. You can, you know, configure it any way you want. But yeah, you know, whatever. And you can configure with your ammo in there too if you just kind of did it like that. Cut two slots for your mags. So yeah, pretty yeah, simple. Um, nothing crazy like that. I got a bunch of questions and stuff about how I traveled with this. Why? How did I do it? Why did you do it? You know, so, you know, it was really simple and easy. Uh, I was kind of not paranoid, but just kind of, you know, anxious to see how it would go. Appreciate y'all for watching. Um, make sure y'all put your number down there for the uh, for the giveaway. Right. Um, I mean, I really appreciate everybody's support. Keep watching. Keep liking my videos. Keep subscribing. Um, I always forget to do that. Everybody got like crazy edits <laughs> for their videos on how to do that stuff. I'm I'm really basic with my stuff right now. Um, but yeah, man, just appreciate all the love and support. Um, am I missing anything? No, I think that's all I need to give y'all, man. So again, love, man. Appreciate y'all.